Here we are. Rebel Farmer here in the Poly Tunnel, mid March. There's a lot of things going on. Things are starting to flower. A lot of seeds on the go. And a lot of greenery. So um, I thought I'd give you a little show around today and show you some of the things that are going on in the polytunnel. We're just testing some microgreens in here to see um, how well they, they tolerate the cold conditions that we still get overnight at the moment. Um, and we've got a lot of other seeds up and going. Well, we've got a lot of onions growing here along with uh, some real lovely lettuce. So I've got lots and lots of lettuce coming this year. Um, many, many different types. They're really coming on well. Sowing them in succession, we're able to uh, achieve a consistent supply of really nice heirloom varieties. Heirloom and non for heirloom. Um, there's some normal varieties in there too. A few brassicas on the way. Um, these are some nice cabbage greyhounds. They grow very quickly. Some spinach here. It's a beautiful time of year in here. We've got loads of other stuff going on underneath um, the benches here. There's, uh, there's various uh, stages of, of development here. We've got quite a lot of peas over there. I'll show you. They've, um, they've come up lovely in the last few days. It's popping out now. Um, we've got something propagate with propagator lids on there just to sort of keep it a little bit warmer in there and help them maintain humidity. Yeah, so I'm still waiting on some things in here. And this is all veg mainly in here. Um, I have got some beautiful colours coming through here. This is beetroot and uh, you can see the, see the difference even at this stage between them all. Um, on the ground and, and still in the beds, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are going to flower now. They're bolting. They finished doing that, what they're supposed to do. But most of these plants have been in since um, August or September um, when they were all planted. It's a real mixture of kales and lettuce. Um, we've got some uh, we've got some nice radishes and stuff coming through from seeds. Uh, they're the first things actually to crop this year. Um, we've got the chard in the middle here, perpetual spinach, um, brilliant sort of um, spin consistently supplying us throughout the winter and is now looking really, really healthy to give us a nice amount of uh, greenery before it decides to bolt to. We also have some brassica type leaf. This is a beautiful mustard leaf here, quite spicy actually, growing alongside um, some herbs, which is a lovely confetti coriander there. Um, We've got um, we've got our lovely cactus here in the middle. Of, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a new addition to the tunnel, but I thought it was quite quite nice. <laughs> um, we've got lots of mizuna over here. That's going to to uh, to flower now, um, as is quite a lot of the buck choys and stuff. But the, all these flowers are going into our sort of vic, our mixed um, super salads and, um, and our amazing uh, spring zing salad that we've got um, available at the moment. Um, so there's lots of lettuces there that are stu still doing really well. Um, lovely big leaves at this time of year. Another type of mustard, the giant red leaf mustard. Um, and something that <laughs> um, unexpectedly erupted into life was uh, I let a purslane go to uh, seed last year and I just thought, oh well it's gone to seed, I'll just scat them around and see if they come back and yeah, this year we got tons of this uh, miner's lettuce as they call it or um, yeah winter purslane it's growing amongst um, some um, some overwintered garlic I think I put that garlic in there um, in December um, it's a beautiful uh, elephant kale still here doing really well just really coming into its own now having been in the ground for quite a while the fennels behind doing pretty well too I'm getting getting some nice uh, Nice size of uh, veg there. Um, okay. We uh, definitely planted these brassica a bit too close. These are uh, these are all sort of cabbages that have gone to flower. Um, 
they're very similar to broccoli and I'll be eating them like that and then um, you can you can eat all the greens here they call them collards sometimes um, but yeah it's obviously got too warm in here already and they've, they've bolted um, so you know but that's fine there's still some edible stuff there um, what else have we got going on? A few of the perennial type things coming back in here. I've, I seem to have an eruption of mint. I don't even know where that came from, to be honest. Uh, but I better get it out soon. Um, and this is a this is a corner that needs sorting out. But uh, you know, it's fairly neat in here. <laughs> um, we've got what else have we got up here? Yeah, so there's a few things in root trainers here. These are some more peas. Um, I think these are sweet peas actually. Um, and uh, something really colourful here for you. Yeah, the pansies and the violas, they're looking splendid right now. They just came, came, come flying out this time of year, like two or three flowers a day. Um, and they, they go into uh, edible flower mixes that we do. Um, and into our salads, our super salads. Started using one of these Dymo printers this, this year. Bit of a pain in the arse actually. The, but the um uh yeah they look kind of good don't they the labels yeah lots lots more to show you uh, but for now i think that's it so um thanks for joining me um i'll show you some more later there's lots going on out in the field that i'm hoping to share with you in the next few weeks cheers <laughs>